I had a message I wanted to send to everybody before the weekend. Um, a lot of times, whenever I put something on social media or, you know, anything in the lessons or on the Facebook group or whatever, you know, it's usually been prompted by uh, like a client asking me something um, or something that somebody was frustrated about or, you know, so just know that all the clients are our inspiration for the messages that we send out to the interwebs, you know. Um, anything that we're answering on social media is usually sparked by a conversation that we had with a, a client that had some kind of problem or frustration um, that they're trying to work through. And so I was, of course, checking messages on the app and stuff and answering questions. And uh, one that just inspired me today to do this message was about progress. You know, y'all being in the end of week three and you know, you're getting in the groove of your habits, you're getting in the groove of, you know, adding plants to your plate and, you know, thinking about eating more of the good stuff. You know, this isn't the typical like, you know, make yourself miserable type of strategy. Okay, and so, you know, with this client, I, you know, she was frustrated that she hasn't seen a lot of progress. Um, and the message that I have for if you are one that is being or is frustrated with progress or you think that it should happen quicker or you're not sure that you're doing things right. If you're following along and your coach is not, you know, throwing any red flags out there you have to give your body time to adjust. Um, and what I told this person was that you can't put, nobody can put a timeline on when things are gonna start happening. There are signs though. There are signs that things are changing underneath the surface. We mentioned that these habits are like watering a seed and you have to keep watering them consistently, keep watering them until it can break through the surface and you can see these progress or whatever you're looking for. You know, weight loss, that's what most people are looking for is weight loss, body fat loss, you know, body composition changes. But I would say, I would ask yourself, and this is what I asked of the client. I said, I want you to think about, are you in right now, right now, are you focusing too much on the outcome goal weight loss where it's taking over the the what you're actually changing here like you're actually learning how to be a person with new habits so think of the person that you envision yourself being you know or maybe you see somebody you're like oh i want to you know be fit or you know whatever whatever it is that you know is your goal in your head you're in game what does that person do on a daily basis because you know, we've said before that your habits are going to reflect what your health is. So you have to learn to become that person on the other side of this journey. You know, so whether or not you're, you're seeing fast results right now, the clear path is like for all healthy, fit individuals, they drink more water, they eat more plants, they eat protein to, you know, sustain their muscle mass and, or to grow muscle. They get vitamins and nutrients from the food that they eat. And they develop as a byproduct a healthy looking body. So these habits that you are learning right now are not just habits in a season of weight loss. I want everybody to think about that right now. These are not habits for strictly weight loss. These are habits that you would do in every season of life, whether you are losing weight, whether you are trying to gain muscle, or you're maintaining. Healthy individuals that do not live a sick life are learning, they, they, they know these habits, they practice these habits day in and day out, they live them. So where, you're going to be frustrated 
if you're in that mindset of like, I've got to lose weight, I've got to lose weight, why am I not, why is the, the scale not moving, or whatever it is, you're going to constantly be frustrated because you cannot, you cannot put a timeline on when things are going to change. You will never be able to predict how much weight per week you're going to lose. You'll never lose it consistently. One week, two weeks, you may not lose anything at all. But then the next week, you'll lose a bunch or whatever it is. The key factor here is, is a perspective, is a mindset that I want to be a healthy individual. So I have to learn how to be that individual that earned the results and keeps it for life. I hope that's making sense. Um, I love the question, or I love the feedback that me and the client were having and talking about um, this this one thing, this progress, because it is a frustrating moment for a lot of people. The time before your progress starts to, you know, go. A lot of it has to do with like metabolism. And, you know, maybe you before CK, you were a person that kind of chronically often on dieted. And and not, and not saying that your metabolism is broken by any means, but it's just it needs time to reset itself and realize what's happening, you know, right now. And that time frame can be different from everybody. So if you are a person that is feeling frustrated, but you are doing your habits, just know that you have weeks and more weeks to fine tune what you're doing now. But the only thing you can do is it's almost like trial and error. Do a little bit better and then change it a little bit more week by week. So I just wanted to offer that encouragement to you that you're not doing anything wrong if you're continually trying to better your habits because you are going to learn through this process of frustration and second guessing and whatever, but then having these people behind you telling you to keep pushing forward, you're going to learn how to become that person that earned the results and keeps it for life because you have the habits of that person, that future self that you're working towards. So I hope that helped somebody. I felt like I needed to say it. Um, and I hope that y'all have a great weekend. I will see y'all in week four coaches chat. I hope you enjoyed that little extra for the week. All right. Bye guys.